What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Back at it again. Madden 17, Quincy Blunt, Daniel Taylor the third, Atlanta Falcons, black jerseys, new accessories on them. We got Quincy Blunt, got no gloves, just tape. He took his little arm wrap off. He said, yo, my elbow's good. We all good. Got the new cleats in the game, got all this new stuff. We looking good right now. Everything's looking good. Got some new presence, presentation stuff in this Madden 17. You could skip cutscenes. I could have skipped all this and wouldn't have showed it. I do that on the regular when I'm not recording videos. But we gonna talk about um, early thoughts on Madden 17 real quick in this video. Um, I am sick. Game did come out three days ago. I've been sick for about three, four days. You can still probably hear it in my voice. My nose is a little stuffy, but I've been playing for about a week and a half. Um, I got a little offense coming together. I'm starting to learn how to run. Uh, my defense, you can see it in this game, I'm trying to get some run defense. It's hard to to like plan about what the computer's going to do. Way easier against people because the computer just does random, random plays most of the time. A new presentation feature hits us right here. They got the little lineups. Real cool, man. This was a real, like, um, it was, it was something cool that I actually did enjoy seeing. But, um, stuff like the pylon cam, I'm getting to that. I'm gonna show that at the end of the game. It doesn't really make sense most of the time. And since we started off on defense, let me start about the defense first. Now, in Madden 13, that was probably, like, the most glorious time. I don't know what that was right there. The jukes and all that stuff doesn't work. Madden 13 was definitely the most glorious time I ever had playing middle linebacker with Quincy Blunt. I had probably the most interceptions I've ever gotten in any career mode I ever played in. Um, the Madden 13 videos are still up. Uh, the quality's not that good, but what I'm telling you, like the user, you can, it, people just move so much quicker on defense. Um, in this game, you're going to be seeing me. I'm trying to, trying to lurk, trying to get a user interception, but it's not really happening that well i guess because it's quincy blunt speed rating i based them off of uh i based i based their stats off of the highest rated month running back in middle linebacker um we're like plus or minus five or you know five up five down whatever like that but that's how um that's how we started it off and i'm not um they took away the player lock camera this year so if anybody's still having questions i tried to taunt there i actually pressed x instead of a but i fell down but if anybody had questions i know a lot of people was asking me in the comments but i wasn't answering because <laughs> i used to just click play a lot you can click the left stick um in or down and you get the player lock camera now you can zoom in all the way on offense and defense but this year it really does not help at all it doesn't do anything for me um on defense you can't even it focuses on the ball so you might have no idea what you're doing in the play you don't know if you're getting blocked or not if you zoom all the way in and focus on one player doesn't make much sense to do so i just left the camera how it is we get the score with daniel taylor leaping into the end zone it's a new dive right there looks real cool I like it. Back into this defensive mode. So the zones, they got all these new different types of zones. Um, playing underneath actually does something this year. Um, um, I didn't even try out all the other directions because you really didn't need to. Um, against people online, a lot of flats. They throw a lot of flats and stuff like that. You can still try to throw it up. I got caught on probably twice. But usually I press X and I get the swat and other stuff like that. Um, the D-line plays crazy. Not really much. Nanos. My nanos, I mean blitzes that the D-line will just come in free. Um, I don't really see much. And if it does happen, they get to stop. They stop moving, actually, and pause for about a second or two. And then continue to rush, I think. I'm not sure. It happened to me about once or twice. The first time it happened, I didn't really think anything of it. But I had to, you know, watch some more gameplay and say, like, oh, that's what that is. I didn't know what that was. But that's um, something that's else that's in the game. So I guess to compensate, they, they turned up the, the amount of pressure this the stop D-line gets, which which did need to get turned up from last year, Addison New State Farms. Um, it did need to get turned up from last year because you had to, had to come up with blitzes because there was no pressure that was being got, you know what I'm saying? You can have a five-man front 
and get no pressure. You, the guy would have nine seconds to pass the ball every time. So it didn't make sense. They turned it up this year. Some people think they need to turn it back down and do all this other stuff. But I think it's all right. It's just you have to play quick. You know, NFL is quick. I don't think you have as much time as... I remember that one play. Tony Romo had nine seconds to do a touchdown. You know? I don't think you're supposed to have that every time um, while you're playing Madden or passing the ball. Well, uh, let's jump into this offensive side because I'm kind of... I think I, I've, I've, I'm getting all those points out the way. On the offensive side, real hard to juke. Real hard to, to make a defender miss. Might as well just get a power back and run him over because that seems to, seems to be the most successful way to uh, get past the defenders just by running them over. Sometimes the stiff arm works and that looks real. It looks real rough, looks real tough, real mean, you know what I'm saying? But we still got screen plays here, still can't hot route on them. I did a juke because I was about to go out of bounds. It saved me from going out of bounds. We got the block and now Daniel Taylor is gone. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's just how it goes. The jukes, I haven't really juked anybody. I played one guy online who was juking my old team. He was spinning on them, breaking ankles and all that. Um, I can't do it. I don't know. Maybe maybe we all doing it too early, you know, too late in the uh, while we're running. You know, defenders too close or whatever. But I don't know. I might figure it out, give you all a little tip. I'm going to figure it out sooner or later. But um, that's one thing. Running the ball is completely different. All that inside zone and, and inside run stuff and zone schemes like that. Since they worked last year a lot, they don't work this year as much as they did. They, you know, it likes to get changed up like that. Whatever works a lot, this usually does not work very much the next match. So inside zone and all that, it's not a bad run, but it's not as good as it was. What is a really good run is these stretch plays. You're going to see me doing them. Um, what's really good to run in is like like uh, these ace formations, these heavy, heavier formations and stuff like that. Like our form and the strong pro and weak pro, get that truck stick, and we're going. Can we stiff arm him? No, can't do it. But those formations, um, the, I'm, the Patriots have a uh, ace overload. They have two tight ends on the same. So I went into it a couple times in here. Levon Toilolo 6-8. Now, that was aggressively caught. I will tell you that right now. Levon Toilolo is 6 foot 8. <laughs> oh, well, that, is that TJ McDonald? I think that's his first name. I think that's nah, I don't even know who that is. I don't know. But he's 6-8. It was a perfectly thrown pass, high up in the air. Body is in between the defender and the ball. Touchdown. I can understand that, okay? If you say something, who cares? You know, it makes sense to me. You can't just... If it happened to me, though, guaranteed, I wouldn't like it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how things go. But, um, Quincy Blunt actually making a tackle right here. And what are we going to go back into? Back into the running. The ace overload and the tackle over. The uh, Browns, I think, have a formation called I-Form Hulk. It's a tackle over on the goal line formation. And it's real... Whatever like offsets the defense because now they have the new uh, box uh, green red thing square in the middle of the field. If it's green, it gives you I guess it's a good time to run it like a good uh, a good defensive set to run the ball to that side, whichever is green on it. Cordarrelle Patterson, I got one spin move this game. I did a hesitate, I did a back juke first, then I hit a spin, and he ended up making that guy go out of bounds. But um, that's that's mainly what I've been running out of because not many of the other stuff worked. I did all that stuff, then celebrated, got hit, fumbled in the end zone. Hey, do what you got to do, man. Didn't really matter. We up 14 already. If you want to, you know, try to play around, it'd be all right. But, um, yeah, so just formations like that, heavy running formations, Quincy Blunt missed the tackle. They usually work um, stretches, counters work. Um, out of them. I know the single back ace is what I use in this a lot. Um, I know counters work. I had to counter out a strong, tight. I think I forgot what. I think it was the Ravens playbook. The strong, tight. They had a, um, if you come out with a run to the left, they have an audible for a dive. And then they, they have another audible for a HB power, which goes to the right side of the field. So if you, you find a good run to the left out of the strong, tight in the Ravens playbook, you have like three-headed running scheme right there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to stop because um, it's it's a tight set. It's a heavy set. 
And the tight ends, if your tight ends can block, he's going to be like another lineman on the field to so go upfield, block a linebacker, and do something. Make it one less person that you have to try to juke because you're not going to juke him. Now we're going to see right here. My safety, I don't know what happened to him. I dove, he fell backwards and slipped on a banana, and he dropped down. And we, they, get, they get another touchdown. But it's all good. Now right here, I'm in jumbo pair. This is one of my favorite, favorite formations. Um, if you see me every time I'm in that formation, I play maker because I gotta flip the power O to either side. You know, I'm reading the defense. Usually I flip it to the left because it's three tight ends on the right side of the field. And it, the, the way it's set up, the defense doesn't really have a problem with it. Like this right here, that's also another problem. A lot of, a lot of the times I had three strip fumbles. I, I stripped somebody three times after they caught the ball, like right after. Before hit sticking them, I press RB, they fumble, I get the ball. You know what I'm saying? That time I, I got lucky and picked it up, still scored with Sanu on the next play, coming up getting the pick six off of this man coverage. Man coverage is kind of works as good as it did last year, but it doesn't really. You know what I'm saying? Last year it didn't. Last year, I guess with all the 99 plays, it worked way more than it was supposed to. But, hey, that's last year. I do like this game. You saw that pylon cam. If it's in the game, it's in the game. No point of seeing it right there. But, hey, <laughs> you're going to see it anyway. You know what I'm saying? But this is a nice game. I'm going to have some more videos coming out for you. I'm still a little sick. Got my nose a little stuffy, but we do come away with this win. Leave me, leave me some comments about your thoughts on Madden 16. I do feel Madden 17. I do feel like it's better than Madden 16. Um, it's way harder. I don't like the user in um Quincy Blunt like that. I'm not really good at it yet. You know, I'm I'm still playing like um I got time and all this stuff. I'm I'm overplaying things, and I'm not really making enough plays. I don't feel like, but that is the end of the video. I almost forgot my outro, but always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.